Hi guys, I am back with another video. Today I will be showing you more tips, tricks, and settings for your Z Fold 2 5G. Let's get into it. First of all, I will be showing you how to do what is called one-handed operation. Okay, so first let's go to good lock. If you don't have good lock already, go download it. I showed you on my last video. So then you go to family. Then you go to one-handed operations. Now this is your list. Left hand, right hand, event settings. You go to left hand. If you go straight right, straight right, straight across, diagonal up, diagonal down. Straight right, you can pick any of these, none, back key, home key, previous app, forward, screen off, close app, assistant app, and many others. Same thing with diagonal, you have the same choices. Diagonal down, you have the same choices. With your right side, you have the same choices straight across, right diagonal, and diagonal down. Or it'll be left diagonal and diagonal down. Okay, so this is left hand, so I'm gonna give you an example. It says straight right, quick tool, so I'm gonna go straight right, straight right, and that's my quick tools. And if I go diagonal up or diagonal down, do recent or back, so I'm not gonna do those, but let's go to the right one so you can see it. Right one says straight left is the back key. Diagonal up is the recent key. Diagonal down is a virtual touchpad. This little thing here, so you can click, for example, click like that if you can't reach it. Click here, you can't reach it which is, it's a big help, I like it. So, that's how you do all those. Now this is touch width. How wide you need that to be. I don't need mine to be very wide. I need to just be able to touch it. The size, lengthwise. I just need mine to barely touch my side key. And then position, where well, you want it positioned. I want mine right up under my side key button. Distance, how far out you want it to go. See the little arrow over here? I don't need mine to go out too far. You just want to pull it out a little bit and keep it going. Swipe duration, short amount of time. And then you want to do like the handle color. Let me push this up so you can see. The handle color. Whatever color you want your handle to be. You can color coordinate with your phone or whatever you want to do. I just got mine plain. I don't want all that, so. Here you have it with one hand operation. It's not just, oh, the, the keyboard is smaller, the screen is smaller. This is making it easier for you to be able to navigate your phone. Okay, so now I have people asking questions about continue app to the front. Now, if you go up and you go to good lock, now you want to go to, you want to be in unit, you want to go to multi-star. If you don't have that one downloaded already, you need to download that. Go to Galaxy Fold, I love Galaxy Fold. And then in here, you'll see it say continue all apps on front. Now you turn that on and whatever you're doing on the inside, it'll go to the front. Let me show you. And it automatically goes there. Now the thing that people were saying they were having problems with is the fact that when it goes straight to the front like that, then your phone is not locked. They feel like that's not stable. Well, me personally, if I'm closing my phone and I'm going straight to the front screen, I'm probably looking at it anyway. But if you don't want that to happen, let's go back in the inside. All you need to do is turn off front screen when folded. So turn that on. So now when I go here, I close it. It don't go straight there unless I put my fingerprint on it. But the app will still be there. See, the app is still there though, you know? So if you feel like you're not secure, then turn that 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 function on to where turn off 
the front screen when folded. And that way you just put your fingerprint in if you feel like, you know, you might be closing your phone and you're not thinking about it and it's still on or whatever the case may be, or you happen to close your phone, you happen to sit it down and you don't feel like it's secure. Then you can do that. Okay, on to the next thing. Now I'm gonna turn this off so you can see it. Now, I turn it on like this. You see the little video in here? You can do that on the inside for your lock screen. And also here for your lock screen. See, I like I like that. That's my son when he was younger. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You have to do it separately for the inside and the outside. So let's get into that. Okay, so basically you just go to your gallery. In your gallery, you'll have whatever video you recorded or whatever. You got to have a video already recorded or go ahead and download one. You pick the video, go here and you do set as wallpaper. And then it says set as lock screen and that'll be your inside display. So that's how that works, just as simple as that. Now on the outside, you do the same exact thing. You go to your gallery and you pick, let me go back to the beginning. Go to your gallery, you gotta have videos already in there. You pick the video you want. Just as simple as that, set as your wallpaper and it says set as lock screen. So anything you do on the inside, you must do on the outside. It doesn't just go over, like you set a wallpaper for the inside, it's not gonna automatically go on the outside. It's taking it as two different screens. So you have to do it on both sections. Don't think it's just gonna go on one section because you did it on the other. That's not how it works. Okay, so now we are gonna talk about flex mode. So let's go to YouTube. Okay, so let's do flex mode. Is that like we're watching a video? Y'all wanna watch my video? And y'all wanna be able to comment at the same time. And you go just like this. Okay, let's go to the comments while we're watching the video. Oh, what in the world happened? The comments is coming the whole thing up. I can't watch the video and comment at the same time. I wanna be able to watch a video and comment as I see what I see. A lot of people have been asking, why can I do, not do flex mode, watch the video and be able to comment at the same time? Why is that happening? Okay, so something you have to know is, let's go to settings. When you go into settings, let me pull it in here. Okay, let's go into settings, go to display, go down to screen layout and zoom. A lot of y'all have it on this. If it is on this one, see more content at the same time. If it's on that one, it will not do it. Now you have to change it to this one, make content larger so it's easier to see. So you press that one. Okay. So now let's go back to the video. Let's try flex mode now. Okay, so we have on flex mode, you have the video there. Let's go to the comments. Now you have the comments at the bottom. That's something you have to change. Now most people went to this setting. I'm gonna show you this setting again. Most people use this setting for situations like emails and text messages and stuff like that. So let me go to text message. See, it has this view for text messages. So say like, see here, act like I'm gonna start texting. See, all the messages will be on this side and the person you're texting will be on that side. So a lot of people use it for that reason. But when you want to do flex mode, you have to be on this setting. So that's something I've seen a lot of people ask. I'm like, why my flex mode won't work? Or, it used to work, now it doesn't work, probably because you changed this setting, trying to get your things to look more like this for your emails and stuff like that, which I get it. And see now when you go in here, 
to your text messages just directly the text message that you're on you can't go and see both sides at one time so you got to pick and choose your battles I just go back and forth and change the settings every time you want to do something I mean it is what it is you know since we're already here in text messages let's show you flex mode in text messages so you can do like this and you have it like this I mean you know that's fine you know, you're making text just like that now do it like this now you can do it like this a lot of people say they can do this like this I have to pick it up and do like this which like I told y'all on my LG V60 I love this mode like this because you can see and you can go right here I always like those foldable phones I've always liked those flip phone foldable phones or whatever you call them where the keyboard was down here and you can see what you're doing up there I always like those but this is even better because it's a whole screen but anyway so get the typing and boom there you have it but something else I want to show you guys so if you don't want the keyboard like this you can do let's see if you can see that press this and it closes it back up me I like my separate if y'all see my LG video I love it separated like that or you can do you know we can move the um, keyboard around or you can have the smaller keyboard me no I don't want that so and then you can you know voice to text and all of that so then we're gonna try let's see I haven't done this one yet so we're trying this together let's see the camera so now the camera let's try to put it in flex mode so now I'm taking a picture of whatever is over there let's take a picture and you see it down here that's kind of cool let's flip it around to me hi guys and take a picture and I can see it down here so that's kind of cool you know sit there I want to take a picture y'all know I like some selfies and you can take a picture here so that's kind of cool too I'll show you you comment down below I'll show you like some other camera features or some you know tips and tricks with the camera I'll do that another time don't want to make this video too too long but that's about it for now all right guys give me a thumbs up on my video subscribe to my channel if you had not already subscribe to my other channel if you hadn't already make sure you check me out on social media and make sure you check out my shop make sure you click that bell for notification of my videos thank you guys for watching and as always be blessed make sure you go check out my igt page and make sure you check out my shop i have some cases for this phone i have different things that you may want electronically so y'all go check that out it'll be down below you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below all right guys anyway enough of that stuff